take questions for Jacob. Just please raise your hand first. Go ahead, Andrew. Jacob, how happy were you guys for Yanni to see him get get out there and get the game winning goal in his second game as a Hurricane? Oh, it's awesome! Um, it's awesome. He's a he's a great addition to the team so far, and uh, I mean, off the ice, he seems like a an awesome guy. And uh, so, uh, as as teammates, we're super excited for him, and uh, not only with the goal, but he had some uh, great big plays all over the ice tonight, blocking shots, big hits, and so, um, like I said, he's a great addition to the team. Sarah. Where does that first period rank among like best periods of the season? Do you think? Probably up there, um, pretty close to the top. I think every everyone was going. We were all moving our feet well, but we we're playing the right way. I mean, pucks in deep, like we always talk about. Forwards just uh, working hard down low, everything thrown at the net, um, and so it, it was a super solid first period um, from top to bottom. Mike Tolbert. Hey, Jacob, congrats on the win. Um, the last two weeks, one of the longest homestands the team's had in a, in a while with eight games. Is there any major takeaway from the past two weeks? I'm um, just, I mean, it's nice to play in front of fans and uh, be in front of the Caniacs again. Um, obviously, with more fans being able to come in the building, that's awesome. And so uh, I know I know we as, as players really appreciate our fans. And so um, from, from that side, it's awesome. Um, just being home with the families mentally, I think, really helps as well. Um, and just obviously just with the... Hectic, hectic season that is it, that it is. Um, it's just it's nice to be home, um, but we've got a big road trip coming up here, and so we got to uh, take care of the work we got to do. Brian, you're on muted. Mute. There we go. Let's try that. Uh, further to Sarah's question, um, how important was it for you guys to come out of that first period with something, uh, just to make sure that that effort that you expended didn't go for naught? And you know, there's a zero on the scoreboard after one of the best periods of the year. Yeah, it is. It is huge. Um, it, it's huge. Obviously, uh, there, there's ebbs and flows to the game, and sometimes you play a heck of a period, and you could have been down uh, one nothing. And so to be up after that period was great. Um, but we just, uh, as Roddy always says, you put you, you play the period, you put it behind you, and then you you go back to work, and you gotta you gotta repeat it and be able to do the same thing. So um, uh, there was there was ups and downs in that game, but uh, we stuck together as a team and, and got it done. Chip. Yeah, Jacob, it seems like a lot's been made out of nicknames this week. What do, what do you guys call Yanni? And uh, just talk about how easily he's made this transition in just a couple of days now. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a great player and uh, he, he's smart. He's big, he's physical, he, he skates well. So he fits in great with our decor and um, coaching staff has done a great job just uh, – Catching him up to speed on all the, all system uh, system stuff, and so nicknames though there there's quite a few floating around from Hagen Dawes to Hufflepuff to Hubba Bub. I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with something uh, something good and something will stick. But uh, no, he's he's a great guy, and uh, like I said, he's uh, it's great to have him. Corey, Jacob, I know you had an empty net goal earlier this year, but was it nice to to get a goal this year that you know <laughs> against the goalie? Yeah, no, I trust me. I, it's uh, been trying really hard, <laughs> um, but no, it, it it was nice to to see one go back uh, in the back of the net. Um, but now just just try to keep throwing pucks at the net and see what happens. All right, thanks, Slavo. Thanks, guys.